Look at that. So tapey. Not my fault this time. Blocking the road. Big cases. This is a racing car. Is it stolen or? Oh, well, that's a plus. Love it. There's me a door. What's this? Kill mode. Record for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. My man. Squeezy corner. Wow, Rocky. Equally bad. Held in my shoestring. Feeling better already? Hi, buddy. Yee doggy. Nothing but trouble. That's helpful. Rocky. Such a wreck. Every wire is red. Come on. Duct tape door panel. Balled up mess. <laughs> Lord almighty. No, 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 no. That stinks. Ah! Lucy Goosey. Yeah. Oh, Lord. This is when you know. <laughs> nice. Not what you do. What are you doing? Do you want even do? Whee! Whoa! You're welcome. Oh, Ralphie's squeezing lemons already. <laughs> he might be milking cows. <laughs> you ready to go get a car? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Tato's going with us? Yeah. He'll be good. Okay. All right, let's get on the road. So I have really been trying to not buy cars lately because, well, we have a lot of cars. Been trying to focus on them. But sometimes you just can't pass up certain deals. This is highly unusual. My father-in-law drove by a yard sale and saw this car sitting out there. Sent me pictures of it, talked to the people, and I just decided I couldn't live without it. I think it's a great deal for what the car is. We are going to drive down here and see if it is worth getting or not. It's about a 45 minute drive for us. That's unusual. We'll see if it's worth buying when we get there. I really don't think this is safe because you really can't take my wife to yard sales. I don't know how this is gonna work out. We may end up looking like the Beverly Hillbillies when we leave there with <laughs> ropes and strings holding stuff like on. Like those people we've seen? Yes, exactly. Uh, we may end up with nothing. Let's get on the road and find out if there's anything worth buying there. So what this thing is, I think it's a 74 Ford Pinto, which I've always wanted a Pinto because I'm a big 2.3 four-cylinder fan ever since I had my turbo coupes and stuff. So I always wanted a Pinto, never owned one. So this is a Pinto and it looks like it's been a drag car. It's been swapped to a 302. So it's a V8 swap Pinto. The guy I talked to, he really doesn't know hardly anything about it. Somebody else built the car. It doesn't run right now. There's a couple parts missing off the engine, he said. So we're hoping we can get this thing, get it home, get it running, and maybe we'll have a decently fast car. He doesn't really know what's done to the engine, but I'm assuming it's probably got mildly built 302. Maybe it's a radically built 302, I don't know. Probably got a C4, hopefully with a stall. Probably got a Ford eight inch or nine inch under it, I'm hoping. Even got a hood scoop. I mean, you can't beat buying a car with a hood scoop, right? Hood scoop and trailer hitches. Yeah, hood scoops and trailer hitches, they add value to it. He said he'd take $2,000 for it. So if you can buy a V8 Pinto drag car for $2,000, you gotta buy them all day long. It must be good. He's not buying right now. He pretty I much runs our house now. I'll see him drift around the corner with Jamal chasing him. They'll be fighting. He figured out how to get out of his cage. You can't contain him. these mountains in Tennessee. I used to be so scared of this one. Driving my Maverick, it would always overheat going up this one. We're getting off our exit here. I don't think it's very far off the interstate. Hopefully it's easy to get this trailer in and out. I know, that's the thing I always worry about is getting in and out of wherever it's at. Hopefully it's not too tight, but I mean, your father wouldn't send us in a Oh no, not him. Route. 17 left. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can fit that on a trailer, honey. That's the next one right there. Look at double axles. Woo! Look at that. We're about to pull up. It's right up here. Sam is so sapey. He's had a hard day of biting. It's gonna be right here, according to my father-in-law's directions. Oh, I see it from here. You see that yellow car? Oh, I see her. Hopefully their gate's open. Guys, if you watch our videos, then you know on a recent trip out west, I lost my wallet at the motel room. And there is nothing worse than that. Losing all your stuff that's important to you, that's really hard to replace, even money, cards, everything. We could have been completely stuck out there. And all of that could have been avoided if I would have had this new product from Groove Life, the Groove Wallet Go. It's sleek, it takes up almost no room in your pocket, which if you're like me, 
You can't stand having stuff in your pockets. It'll hold your cash. It'll hold your license, your cards. It'll even hold your Dollar General gift cards. I mean, how cool is that? They also have their regular Groove Wallet, which holds six cards plus cash. It has RFID protection, and they're also MagSafe. The Groove Wallet Go works with iPhone 12, 13, and 14, and all their products come with a 94-year no BS warranty, so it's the last wallet you're ever gonna need. You see me wearing the Groove Belt for months now. I absolutely love this thing. They also sell lots of other products like watch bands, rings, AirPod cases and much more. It's a business space right here in Tennessee that was started in Alaska. It's always good to support local businesses when you can. So the fact that they're from Tennessee is a big deal to me right here in my home state. They've also been recognized by Inc. Magazine as one of the fastest growing companies in the United States. It's time to bring your wallet into the 21st century. Head to GrooveLife.com slash sleeper dude for 20% off all GrooveLife products. That's the best offer you'll find, but you have to use my link, GrooveLife.com slash sleeper dude for 20% off your order. One last time, that's GrooveLife.com slash sleeper dude for 20% off your order. Big thank you to GrooveLife for helping support our channel and sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to it. Is their gate not open? Are you kidding me? What in the world? We can't even get in. <sighs> there she is. We can't get into her, but there she is. I don't know where I'm going to turn around that, but I'm going to turn around somewhere. Dead in. Perfect. Hey, my name's Natasha. You um, talked to my husband yesterday about the yellow pinto for sale. Yes, ma'am. Is that okay? We have your address from the messages yesterday. Okay. All right. We'll see you in just a few minutes. Thank you. Bye -bye. Time to go somewhere. We have to U-turn somebody's driveway. It's not place. my fault this time. All right, we're taking our bushes out. There we go. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's hard to turn this thing around. Buy you a bigger trailer next time. I know. Well, I wanted room to haul stuff. They said they were having a yard sale this morning, so I just. I guess some folks have a uh, late yard sale. No. Most people don't get up at six o'clock in the summer. Just yeah. saying. I've been up for hours. Yeah. This is another one of those things where. We messaged them and said we're headed that way and they never responded and we just took off again. It's worked out in the past. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be the first one there, so. I guess mom's going to have to hop out and open this gate because we're going to be sticking out in the road right here. Am I going to hit their mailbox? We're literally blocking the road. Man, I am so close to their mailbox. You're like... I'm like one inch from their yeah. mailbox. They got stuff everywhere for sale. They got some big casings over there. Well, here she is. At least it's not gone already, huh? Yeah. So we got the externally mounted radiator. Open that hood. Aren't those like right? Oh, wow. Racing hood. Okay. A 302 with exhaust manifolds. Somebody's cut the shock towers out, but it's still got front suspension. That's good. Looks like a new master cylinder at some point. Let's leave that. Isn't this one of them racing hoods that pins on? Yes. Once you get in there. Oh, it's got slick casings on it. Wonder what rear axle it's got. That looks like an eight inch to me. I believe that's an eight inch. Probably got a C4. This is a racing car, look. Yeah. All the controls one man needs right there. Only one seat. We got one gauge, oil pressure. Hey, the grill's in here. Got a, he's got a battery, Ralphie. It does. Can you believe that? Wow. It looks really solid, actually. Yeah. Despite being uh, repainted and stuff. It looks pretty solid. Yeah, that's my car. You're looking at my car right here, guys. <laughs> I love the hood Pinto scoop. Racer right there. Steel. Does that say steel as in it's stolen or which one? No, it's a steel. Okay. Have you ever had a car with one of them racing hoods? Not like that, I haven't. Yeah, it's got a drive shaft in it. Well, that's a plus. Oh, we got the tubs. Got the Fox Body Turbine Hoops Fram Oil Filter. There's a belt. I don't see anything that's absolutely scaring me to death. What is this guy? Hey, look how close the exhaust is over here. That's fuel pressure gauge. It looks like they should have put the engine over a little bit, huh? All right, well, this is a project, but I think we can tackle it. So he said they stole the distributor out of it. Looks like it's missing belts. At least they covered the hole. Yeah, I think we'll chance it. Oh, locked up solid. Oh, we got it. Never mind. Just kidding. See, it's been a long time since that's ran. It's awesome. I love it. Oh, yeah. He's a ripper. You gotta rip this around the yard? Yeah. It's got 26 eight and a halfs in the back, slicks. He's a racer. This does look like your car, Dad. See, they've cut this out in order to fit the V8. Look how long that is. So, it really needs a firewall move back if you're gonna put a V8 in it. Dang, dang. I mean, we can take the fenders off. 46 is 46 19 and a half. You think we can? There's Mickey Thompson's. Hey, I ain't got we got there. the Sawzall. We got Look, one of those. this one's brand new. It's still got his dots. 
Yeah. Look, they got bumper guards over there, toolboxes. There's me a door. What's this? We might need that. There's just a boat tank. We need that for show. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff. Got the mud flaps. There's this racing seat, Ralphie. We can put that in a tank. Yeah. Well, that's just ready for racing. <laughs> that's all that is. It's just a little wrinkle and a slick. Yeah. They've been used a lot. I think they were on it when they painted the car yellow. Probably. Yeah. Ralph, are you steering? Okay. Here's your racing car. Dad finally picked a good one. They're usually iffy. Do you like it? Something you like? Yeah. You got some neutral? Yeah. This thing used to be blue a lot. You're already in love with it, aren't you? Yeah, I, I can I can reach the pedal. Oh, decently. that's the only thing you got to worry about, it, isn't it? It's got the racing things. Cool. I think it's got a gauge in the cigarette line. Probably. I think that's what's happening. Huh? You need the chain thing. That was the tightest yard to get around in because they are set up for that yard sale. We barely got out of there. We had to move some stuff around. We bought it. $2,000 looks to be really solid. We'll get this thing home and see what we got. I, I should have a distributor somewhere for it. If not, we'll get one ordered. Maybe we can get it running. But you never know what you're getting. I mean, that is our very first yard sale car. Can you believe that? We bought a car at a yard sale. They had a 66 Impala there but it had no engine no transmission and usually i mainly buy cars that have engines and transmissions you know my dad would love that car but the body was really rough it's love awesome it. i love it you love it a little bit too yellow the starlet was yellow when we first bought it you remember that it looks a lot like the starlet doesn't it yeah you got the hood right mm -hmm. yeah it's yeah. in the back of the truck i've always wanted a pinto i love drag cars anybody that knows me knows i love little cars with big engines and that checks both boxes for me I think it ought to be pretty quick with the 302 in it like that, yeah. you know. They don't weigh a whole lot. It probably weighs like 2,500 pounds or less with a 302 in it. Yeah. You know? True. True that. True that, my homeboy. I wonder what that little angel would do on some nitrous, huh? Oh, yeah. Take her to the drag strip. That'd be fun. Blow her in my rug. <laughs> there's the holy grail. Hey, there's the mile marker. That's them Tennessee mile markers right there. Seven more to go. I just so happened to be driving right by my old work that I quit to do this job. My buddy Tom works there. He had a yellow Pinto with black stripes with a 460 in it. Same time I had a 460 Maverick, he had a 460 Pinto. So I can't go by here without showing him and talking to my other buddies that work there still. So I'm gonna swing in there real quick. So did you like the car? What, what would you what rate it? Kill? Zero. Zero? Oh! Wow! It is hard to please squeeze. Ow. He's in kill mode. Hips a lot wired. I thought he was just sleepy. I've not been here since I quit a year ago. I've not. It's been, been a year? It's been a year. I have not been here. That's crazy. It's been too long. What are you doing? I thought you figured I bought your car, huh? That's what I said. I, said I saw the pinto at the first photo. It has a black hood even and everything. And you know, I know yours had the stripes, but. Cut all this out. Well, that's what I know. Yeah, it needs to go back, doesn't it? Yep. How about the pins over there, buddy? You like that? <laughs> I figured y'all would like it. Come on! Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You see the hard one? Well, that was nice. Got to see my old friends I worked with forever down here. It was really neat to see everybody. It's been too long since I've been down here. I need to stop when I come by here next time. That just wore him plumb out. It ain't even been seven miles. <laughs> Now that's thrown everything off. I, I won't be able to navigate anymore. That's less than seven miles. I leave here, they built Taco Bell and a Dollar General. I would've stayed. I wouldn't even be doing YouTube right now if I'd known that. He's hilarious. He just lays out though. He, he does that in his cage too. Yeah. Title, you was the bestest one. He was good today. Really? Yeah. Oh, that is neat. I like that. <laughs> 
It's an aluminum intake four barrel 302 in a pinto. Four to eight inch rear end. I think it's got really? a C4. I thought you'd approve of it. I like that. That is neat. I may just have to swap carburetors on it. I like Somebody that. took the distributor out of it. Great. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Why does it only have three? Why does it have only three hood pins? The world may never know. Does it have any brakes? I don't know. I he wasn't even there to ask, so I have no idea if it has brakes. Go check and see. Yeah, we'll check and see. Well, now that we've got Mike spooked, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get him
Is there something in here? Mm -hmm. I don't see anything. Wait, what was that? That's literally hitting. Look, this thing may not work. It's literally contacting those. You see the distance? This is right up against it, touching it. Over here, this mm -hmm. is what has is a this gap. Cheap Chinese junkie border. I'm sorry. Look, hear it. Is there an adjustment to that? You buy the cheapest distributor money can buy, then you have trouble out of it. What's the deal? What's this world coming to? It'd probably be a good idea to pull the plugs. Why don't you guys go ahead and pull the plugs and keep them in order? Big or small socket? It looks like the small 5-8 socket. All the vacuum hoses are just, it's a mess. Look, this is a pin top. Plug in the vacuum thing. My man. That actually doesn't plug because it's got a big hole in it. Yeah, that's a mess. I think the build quality on this car was set very low. They got Allen head bolts holding this carburetor down for some reason. By the way, I've already got my second one out. Okay. These bolts weren't even tight. Look at these head or header bolts. That one's like yeah, that one's. Wait, that it has no exhaust good. on this side, does it? I guess not. I she don't need no exhaust where we're going. Do you think it really ran, or do you think it's just in here? I don't know. It acted like it ran. It had a battery. And it had a racing seat in it. And the brakes somewhat work. This may be rebuildable, you know. Probably is. I don't know what CFM it is. It looks like it's been out in the rain its whole life. 1405, 1435. Somebody can let me know. So it is a vacuum secondary, which they may all be. I'm not really familiar with Edelbrock stuff. The secondaries won't even open, so probably a good idea to swap this out. What's our plugs looking like, Ralph? Ooh, sooty. Really sooty, huh? Yeah. She's been running uh, real rich, looks like. It looks like some water got down there too, probably. While we got the plugs out, we'll probably try to spin this thing over and make sure it's not locked up or something rusted up. I came up here to get plug wires and Squeeze is working on some artwork up here in the squeezy corner. You like it up here? Yeah. She has a portable fan as well. Or is that an air conditioning unit? Air conditioning unit. Oh, portable air conditioning unit. So we had a whole box full of plug wires from other cars that didn't run and stuff. So hopefully we have enough. Rocky. Hopefully we have enough to make it work. That's the one we were looking for for the Galaxy Wagon, but somebody sent us one, didn't they? Why, wow, Rocky? He's going for it, isn't he? He's going for the jump. Nope. Look at the fourth one. Oh, man. Yeah, those don't look too great. Wawa's got hers out, too. They, they look equally bad, just like it's been running too rich. But he's like, I'm leaving. I guess let's find a wrench and spin this thing over. Looking at it, we think we should probably just pull the radiator out of the way. No fluid in it. Look, it is literally, you can't make this up, held in by a shoestring, okay? All four of these ridiculous mounts they made, this is the only thing with anything attached to it. I was about to say that Joker made it all the way right here like that. Yeah, I know, right? How they got the fan wire in, I'd love to see. Oh, we got twisted and taped right here, honey. <laughs> Uh, good news is it's, you know, detachable that way. Look, this one just twisted too, Dad. I know. Crazy. Don't be unplugging wires now. I think we're going to be lucky if this thing runs and drives. I don't think there's much else holding this thing in. They did hook up the transmission cooler. That's surprising. But we'll just lay it down here out of the way. How about that? It does have the crank bolt. That's a good start. Okay. Ralph, you want to try to turn it over first? Turn it on. Watch your hand, yeah. Yeah, that's... Oh, it turned. I saw it turn. Well, that's a good sign. It's not locked up. You're shocked already, aren't you? With the amount of water, it looks like that carburetor saw. I am really surprised already. Well, that's good. We gotta get this thing at top dead center number one, though. I got my finger in the cylinder. You can be top dead center on exhaust stroke instead of your compression and be 180 degrees off. So when it blows air like that, pass your finger. You keep doing it until it kind of tops out, stops blowing air right about there. We should be lined up pretty close on our timing work down here. So we're about 10 degrees off. Oh, okay, now we're 10 degrees off the other way. Back it up just a little bit till we get on zero, Ralph. 
right there we're on zero all right that should be top dead center number one looks like some dirt fell down in there over the time this thing sat with a distributor of it so we're obviously gonna get it out of there with a phone might get down the intake just in case should we run the camera down the cylinders mm, that might be good to do let's see well we got flat tops with four valve reliefs I see some cross hatch in the cylinders. So maybe if somebody did a rebuild on it, we got a valve open. Uh, okay, well, that one don't look too bad. I see cross hatch there, you see it in the side? Yeah. This thing may not be too bad off, you know? See that number on the piston top? I think that's a replacement piston then. I wouldn't think a stock piston would have those numbers etched into it like that, you know? Mm-hmm. All right, let's look at the other side. A little bit of scratching on the cylinder wall. This thing may have had a decently fresh rebuild done to it, you know? Yeah. It's possible. Well, nothing's scaring me so far. Okay, well, maybe we're good. I'm feeling better already. I'm gonna oil up our O-ring here and our lobe with some Lucas assembly lube. I mean, this thing is pretty rattly here. I don't think it's supposed to make that noise, but we'll see if it'll work. This time, this time. <laughs> you gotta make sure you got it engaged with the oil pump drive shaft. There we go. At least they left us the distributor hold down when they sold the distributor out of this thing. We're gonna kind of guess at our timing here and try to point this at the number one plug wire and put them on. Now, depending on which camshaft this has, it may have the 302 firing order or it may have the 351 and 50 firing order. So it looks like a later model engine for sure. So I'm gonna guess at it and go with the 50 firing order. And if it don't run, we might can swap it and see if that fixes it. Cause it all depends on what cam they put in it. Right, Mabel? Oh, that thing's already looking better. Here's your first painting. Oh my gosh. I can see. You did great. Very good. Put him up there so he can dry, okay? Okay. Ralphie just alerted me to this. I figured out why it wasn't tight is the two bolts on this side are stripped out in the intake. So I don't know if we can maybe drill and tap it or put a longer bolt in it, but we're gonna have to do something because it's not bolting down. I measured down in there. That's how much room we have, and this is how long our bolts are. So we should be able to get a little bit longer bolt, Ralph, and make this work. It should be a 5 16 20, I think. Scooty! Come on! It's not that scary, Scooter. Can't believe he's coming down here. He's there he is. Boy. Look at that. Hi, buddy. Where's your cowboy hat? What are y'all looking for? Front and one. You're looking for what? Start mm -hmm. and plan. I think this is too long. I think this is it, Ralph. That's a thicky boy. Sorry. <laughs> okay, I think there's a winner. Okay, that's fine. Yes, we're going to take these. So those new bolts seem to have locked it down just fine. Just needed something a little bit longer. Ralphie wants me to like pull a valve cover and see what's under there, but sometimes you don't want to let the magic out, as Sloppy Mechanic would say. That's right. Sometimes it's better not to know. Y'all get those plugs in. I'll try to get the wires going. Does this thing look really like a scalding dog? Yee, doggy. That's Mike's word there. That's right. Where is old Mike? I was going to say, what's he doing? There's no telling. He's probably up on the power pole right now hooking up some bootleg cable or something. <laughs> I had to guess. Just patrolling the perimeter. That's what they're doing. They're fat bellies. So here's our firing order down here. If it's a 5.0 or a 351 firing order. These plug wires here are going to work. I don't even know what they're off of. What are y'all doing? You are nothing but trouble. All the animals, they like me the best for whatever reason. I'm having to get the little linkage piece, the little ball off here so we can hook our throttle up. Ralph, you give the gas pedal a swat there. I know you're good at that. <laughs> Just like his mother. Yeah. Rocky, you're gonna ruin the radiator. Yeah. yeah, go for it. Oh yeah, worked perfectly. Thank you, sir. That's plenty, thank you. Rocky, you're not getting the wires for this super film. No. He's gonna scratch his horns on the thing. Oh, he's eating the label off that. That's good, that's helpful. He loves plug wires, I think. Absolutely. What's he trying to do? Eat the cord? Hey, you got it. He does love cardboard boxes, too. Rocky, I got all the plug wires I need, bud. Rocky Jr. is eating a receipt over there. We got a really dinky doodle bracket back here, but that snaps right in there. 
That should work. Hit it, Wawa. Why don't you hit the gas pedal for us? Do we have an oil pressure gauge? We do, don't we? Okay, we're good. Let off. That should work. Okay, so we're looking for a gas tank. Oh, darn. That clicked up good. What do we got here? We got birds sitting on the thing. What is he, birds, son? So we got a... Is that it? Is that the gas tank? Is that the gas yes, tank? Yes, it is. I there's, think so. There's fluids in here. Here, let me give it a sniff. This thing oh, had yeah, a battery and sure. I pulled it oh, out yeah, of there. Oh, yeah, that's all it is. Sniff it. It's got battery cables. Look how long that cable is. It's like... Oh, it just keeps coming. Hmm. Let me see if it's got anything in it. It does. It does not. Okay. I see liquids. It's literally oh. empty, though. It's like... Yeah, but there are liquids there's in there. A, I'm sorry, there's a sixteenth of an inch of fuel in it. It looks like the outlet is completely stopped up. Arrows dropped here. <laughs> That's the racing stripes. When they got the arrow, that way you know. Look, you're going this way, son. <laughs> Unless you're going that way. <laughs> so I found a coil upstairs and a plug wire that fit it. So I got that since it had no coil on it. We can't even find a fuel pump on this car. So I guess we're gonna have to put an electric fuel pump on it because it doesn't have provisions for a mechanical. I don't know what we're gonna have to do about the fuel system, but I'm gonna go ahead and wire this coil in. Maybe we can use some of what they have here. It's such a wreck. Oh my gosh, I just realized this is an extension cord for what? a house. Yeah, that's a extension cord. You can see it's oh, a green, gosh. black, and a white wire coming out of there. And that's what they have ran for their starter. So let's see, do they have it hooked up to a, a tall switch or something? That's the extension cord, okay. So that extension cord goes to these switches up here. So that one says fan, that one says on off, and then I guess this is our starter. It's not even screwed in. There's more on and off right on the other side. <sighs> oh, <laughs> I salute you, sir. We got little alligator clips on that for whatever reason, which is our ignition on off. Oh my gosh, dude. We're gonna have to start tracing wires. So this I know is hooked up correctly because it goes from the hot side of the solenoid to the S side. That's hilarious. Look, every wire is red, look at that. This is how I wired cars in high school right here. These switches here are hooked up as well. I feel wires in them. Why does this goat love me so? Oh. Mabel, come on, come on. You're worse than Granny. Come on. <laughs> Girl, why does she like me? I don't know. All right. Mm hmm. I'm just going to have to start from scratch here on a. Uh, probably that so. That is such a wreck. I think the starter button, though, will work. It looks like it, how it's wired up. But these, I think I'm just going to unhook these and start over. We might can reuse the wires, but just redo them. These are these high amp switches. Were they hooked up to, are they hooked up to I don't something? know, I mean, that one's not. Well, it had one wire and it didn't go to anything. I'm just gonna cut them all. I don't know what they went to. They didn't even put connectors on the end of these. They made a circle out <laughs> of the wire and run the screw through it. Show me that up close. That uh, is so beautiful right there. Ingenuity. This is how we made it to the moon, right here. Guys thinking out of the box, like this right here. I couldn't believe it. I opened the glove box and it actually has a glove box. Usually the this is all rotted out. They bought a fuel pump for this thing in 2016. So maybe that's how long it's been off the road. What would that be? Seven years off the road? I'm the one taking the wires out, Mabel. Not you. Everything's just twisted and taped together. Speaking of ingenuity, duct tape door panel. Okay. Redneck ingenuity. They always wire. I just like a mess. I don't even know what they do. No idea. Well, they're not even hooked to anything a bunch of them. All you need is a roll of red, you got a wire car. All that stuff that was powered in there is twisted and taped, three wires down to one, and the one wire hooks to the hot side straight from the battery. Not even switch power, and look at that. That balled up mess is what powered everything in the car. Off this little string you do wire, <laughs> ain't no bigger than Mabel's neck. Where'd you go hang out in Rocky? <laughs> Yeah, she just hit her head. She didn't realize the glass was there. That's how loose the ground strap was on the engine. Is the bolt stripped out or they just didn't tighten it? No, they just didn't tighten it. Look, they didn't tighten that one. They didn't put that one in. They didn't tighten that one. <laughs> wow. Did they tape that and then do it again one inch later? Oh, they did. Look at that. They needed that extra inch right there in the middle. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. What in the world? Why would you do that? It's so fun. It amazes me what your family has accomplished. Are you trying to hug me? Is that what you're needing to hug? I don't trust any connections they made at all, so I'm just cutting everything off here. 
I just noticed something. Lord Almighty! This thing's got more dipsticks than the place I used to work. Can you believe that? What's this one up front for? I'm assuming they got like mismatched oil pan and uh, <laughs> engine block and stuff probably. Yeah, it's got two dipsticks for the engine. This one says it's full, this one says it's low. Which one what? do you believe? What? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you go with on Let's that. Let's go in the middle. Yeah, come on. I'm gonna crimp those together right there. So this is the power wire to go to the ignition module and the coil. So they crimp together, go into here, and then go out to a power source. Well, that's good to go. <laughs> Pull that wire through, Wall. Is that how you can start some way? Yeah. Tosh is getting on to me for using these old wires that came with the car. I told her just because they're connected up wrong doesn't mean they're bad wires. You can use these wires. You just got to hook them up right. They've been in the trash first thing. Probably. I guess we're just going to use this cheap electric pump I had laying around here. I don't really want to do all this permanent until I know this engine's good. So we'll do this, hook it up to the boat tank. That way we know we have clean fuel going to it. If it runs, then we'll do something more permanent later. I'm gonna shove this 5 16 fuel line over this 3 8 barb and see when you do that, you don't have to put a clamp on it. Oh, hey Rocky. What are you eating? Insulation? Oh, he don't want Rocky Jr. in here. Like, no, this is my insulation to eat. No, 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 it's not good, that's not good. Get in the driver's seat there, yeah. They're the nosiest animals. Rocky, you gotta get out of there. We're gonna try to start it. Oh, but this wire you just put in here, I would love no, to no, eat no, it. No, 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 don't eat the wires. I got the fuel pump wired and the ignition wired. I think that's all we got to wire, isn't it? Sure. Totally. I'm not even wiring the fan up yet. We don't even have a water pump working, so let's see what this does. Guys, the wait is over. We finally have the red, white, and blue Merca Sleeper Dude shirts back in stock. It's been over a month trying to get these things. We finally have them. They sold out overnight last time, so go get them while you can. We got everything from U Small all the way up to 5X. So we got something for everybody. We also got stickers for $4.99 with free shipping. We do international as well. Granny's in her first advertisement. <laughs> You can find all this at thesleeperdude.com. Everything ships directly from our house now. No middlemen anymore. Thank you for all your support. Let's get back to the video. Right, Granny? He's eating the crimpers. Oh, of course he is. Did I get power? Yeah, 12.4. All right, now let's try the fuel pump. Yeah, that's the one that we need. All right, it's getting fuel. You hear any fuel coming in the carburetor, guys? Yeah. yeah all right, okay, okay. Okay. Back up, I'm going to hit the starter, man. Okay, so that's with no ignition on. I'm not trying to run it. Ralphie, hit the starter button. I'm going to make sure the, the stripper's spinning. All right, all right. That thing's kind of slow at first, isn't it? To have no ignition on? Yeah. It's kind of cranking slow there. Is that their battery? Well, it had 12.4 volts. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. It's spinning yeah. over. That's crazy. This is looking up. Yeah. I guess let's see if she fires. If it fires, we need to change the oil because it's got a junk fram filter in it. There's no telling if it has water or anything in that oil. Red switch, uh, hit the push button there. Uh -oh. It's got too much timing for sure. Try it again, Ralphie. I'm gonna move it counterclockwise a little bit here. Do I need to start it? Yeah, is the ignition on? Yeah. Okay, go. Yeah. Get the fuel. All right, try it again. It wasn't even trying, was it? It never even popped. The way it was cranking, it almost has to have spark. All right, try it again. Let's just put a timing light on real quick and see where it's at. That'll, that'll get us closer to anything. So I unhooked our vacuum advance, and I've got our timing light on here. I've got it set on 10 degrees. I'm gonna try to set our base timing with the vacuum advance unhooked at 10 degrees. Try to spin it over, Ralph. I'm not getting anything. Okay. Let me try this. That janky distributor may be our problem, you know? I'm not getting anything. 
that? I hear it clicking. I guess it's uh, lifters and stuff. Did you get any oil pressure at all? Did you been looking at it? Try it now. <laughs> Did you see that distributor move, guys? Did anybody else see that? What? Maybe it's just how loose I got it, but it was wobbling a little bit. It kind of freaked me out. Here's that ticking. Well, why don't we have fire? My top guess is that cheap distributor I bought. We put a battery charger on it. I don't know if that battery's just going dead or what on us, but I also got a spark tester that was sent to us in the fan mail. <laughs> nope, it's spinning over a lot better. I bet that darn cheap distributor ain't working a bit. I bet you're right. Can we go get one somewhere? Not like that. If you had like a point style distributor, you could drop right in it. Is there a car we can steal one from? Galaxy wagon. Just for right now? For testing purposes only. And then we'll order a better brand. We need to get like an MSD or something is what we really need. We can grab one off the Galaxy wagon and see if it works. He's scared to death. Look at him running in here. Check us out on other platforms at SleeperDude88. All right, well, will you turn the red switch up? Hit the starter button. <laughs> see, I'm getting no up and down signal. I should get like a up and down voltage signal because it should have a ground pulse signal out of the distributor. Yeah, see, I've got 13 volts. I think we got a bad brand new distributor, that's what I think. Well, that stinks. There's no point in messing with it anymore. We'll just have to return it or throw it away or something. I hate to throw it away. You know, we had good luck out of the other one we had. It came with the Red Fairmont Big Wall car. Mm. It was in the engine already, and that's the one that's in the Galaxy over here. Should've known better, huh? The thing's just bent, apparently. I hate to do this, but I guess when we get the new one, we'll put the new one in this car. So that's how it's supposed to work. See how it has an air gap between all those points? And it spins freely. I would be weary of buying these cheap ones off of eBay. Now bump it. Bump it. Now there's zero. Ralphie, turn the ignition on, bump it over. Let's see if it gets any fire to the lot here. You can't never buy no more of them. I ain't gonna buy no more of them. I was trying to set the timing. Wow. That's crazy. I like, wasn't expecting that at all. Oh, that's crazy. Scare me to death. The timing must be pretty close, huh? Yeah. Let's crank it back up just enough to set the timing. We don't want to overheat it. But man, that's a win, huh? Yeah, that's crazy. Young is running pretty good. Sounds like she'll run like a scalded dog. I hope so. We gotta get a water pump and we gotta do some stuff with the cooling system. Dang, son! I know. Golly, 
I wish I had a cooling system I'd take right off. I know. We're going to see if Mike's at home. I know, right? Well. Yes. Okay, let's take our vacuum bands back up here. That is crazy. Sometimes it feels really good when they don't fight you too hard. Yeah. We, we've had some that really, really, really fought us. That's extremely surprising. So what was your oil pressure? Like 60. Okay. Well, that's great. So we need to change the oil in it. It'd be great to have an alternator on it, but that's not required. <laughs> so we need a belt on it and we need to mount the radiator and get some coolant in this thing. Well, awesome. We probably need to start just, just one more time and give it a rev, right? It needs a, it needs a little rev, rev, right? Hey, it's loud. It, it is loud. You ain't kidding. Figure it out, don't put your foot down when it's the exhaust goes out right there. Oh, that makes sense. Sometimes it's best not to know. This oh. thing may be a haul thing. Certified, right here. It's running a lot better than I thought it would. Wow. You Incredible. thought she's locked up. You didn't even think oh, it's yeah. ever gonna you run. You know me, I always think Negative it's Negative Nancy work. here. Hilarious. I never think it's gonna work. Wow, you see how crisp it is? Yeah. That carburetor's pretty good, and our timing, it kind of was cranking slow there. Well, a second ago, wasn't it? I, I pushed the thing, and I guess I pushed it too far, and I went like all the way in, and then I pushed it out, and it didn't seem to do anything, so I let off, and it started right. Man, that extension cord, I don't see anything wrong with it. You didn't take the extension cord no, out? No, it's still starting off the extension cord. Are you cord. kidding me? No. I thought you were fixing the wiring. No, I fixed it with extension cord. OMG. Mm -hmm. I didn't put any new wires on this thing at all. Look at all the wires on the floor I didn't use. I don't know what they had all hooked up. Well, this is exciting. It's pretty exciting. It's super exciting. And she's super loud. It's literally open manifolds. This side has nothing past there. Which that'd be great for burnout competition, just <laughs> saying. Well, the, the direction it's facing is not good because it's going right towards like the firewall. So mm. it'd be really, real hot. We gotta get on some things, but we're gonna do it in the morning because it is after eight o'clock already. So yeah, we will see you guys in the morning and maybe we can get this thing out here and rip it. Mm -hmm. All right, good morning, we're back with lights off. Cause there's a hummingbird in here that thanks to those hopper lights are the sun. You see him going around there? We're trying to let him get out. We got the tall doors open and the lights off. Maybe he'll figure his way out. Well, let's get back to this. So this is the alternator that was sitting on the fender wheel. Let's see if it fits this thing or not. I don't know if it was ever installed. Oh, it fits, doesn't it? Okay, this should make it a lot easier to get a belt on this thing because it's never fun trying to put a belt on just to crank in a water pump without a tensioner or without an alternator in there too. We gotta get a bolt for this, Ralphie. Kids, why don't y'all go through and tighten up some of these hose clamps because it looks like they never tighten hose clamps at all. Everything on this car is loosey-goosey. Yes, Surprisingly, this is a 3 8 bolt. I figured it would be metric being off of like a 80s era vehicle, but it wasn't. Success, the hummingbird flew out this morning. <laughs> I think mom may have even got it on video. We got the lights back on. Yeah. We're back in business. Is this thing gonna be a ripper, guys? Yeah. I'll guarantee, guarantee it's a ripper. I really wanna know if the transmission and stuff's good, but I didn't wanna run any longer last night than we did. Well, park works. Yep. Yeah, well, hey, park works, that's good. It's a good start. <laughs> Ralphie, where's that belt that they had on this thing? Maybe it fits it again. I don't know if it's the correct belt or not. It should go under that. Man, if the belt's right, that's gonna be awesome. I mean, wait, I think it's the same amount of the watch. Hey, hold on, this has to go, I believe, this way. Is See it, it slick? Is it too skinny? Yeah. Huh. Like that? Uh, that when they do, no, then the tincture doesn't work. I don't think they had this set up right. Cause if you go over it, the water pump's spin backwards. Like that might fit, but then your water pump's not spin in the right direction. Do you think they crammed it up on there? Like this? That's not the right way, but. But would it work? It might work. Scrunch that thing up in there. I got the top bolt out of the alternator here to relieve some stress. I'm gonna see if I can roll this belt on here. It's usually 
easier to do it on a bigger pulley than a small one. That's why I'm doing the crank. Oh, look at that. That ain't the right way, but it's gonna work. Now we'll put a little tension on it and start this bolt back in it. Hopefully that'll stay on there for a long time. It really needs to be redone a different way, just like everything else with this car. So I'm gonna go ahead and wire this thing in as well because they didn't even have it wired in. So here's how I hooked it up. I'm no expert with alternators, but I know from working with GM one wires, if you do a jumper wire over to the F terminal, it basically turns the alternator on to tell it to charge. I guess now I need to wire in the electric fan. I really don't like a pusher fan like this. It's not as efficient as a puller fan on the backside, but it's better than nothing. So I'm gonna try to mount this back to the worst radiator mounts I've ever seen in my life. Eventually we're gonna have to replace this up here. Why don't you start changing the oil, buddy? And I will go ahead and try to mount this radiator up. When you shop at a yard sale, you expect quality things. Look, the fan is literally like six inches past the headlights. <laughs> There's no way you could ever put a grill in this thing. If we ran to something, the fan would be the first to know. Oh, oh, it's your pan, it's your pan. Lord almighty, you've got it on my floor. <laughs> it's pretty black, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, Lord. I don't oh. see glitter. I don't see any chunks coming out either. It's definitely black. It's been in there a while, so the motor has been ran. And it's not like they didn't run it. I wish we knew more of the backstory on this thing, how long it ran. This is designed to be a puller fan, because if you wire it up the correct way, it blows this way. Whichever way you wire it is how it goes. And a lot of blades are only made to go one way, which this one probably is. So this is probably on incorrectly. Some fans you can run either way. Some are only designed to go one way. We're gonna have to run it this way. It's not even pushing any air, it's just making noise. That's not a great way to hook it up, but if you turn it the other way, you don't even feel any air coming that way at all. Mm -hmm. If you look, these blades are like angled one oh. way like that. I think it's a straight bladed fans that can go either direction. Oh, I see. They didn't even cut off the little zip tie things that hold the fan on. This is when you know they didn't do it right, right here. We're gonna professionally mount this right here. Is that a self-tapper? Uh, yeah. We had self-tappers that big and I didn't know it. I don't tell you about stuff like this. It's reminding me of the old hey. RV. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I knew somebody was gonna bring up the fact me messing that up the RV. Yeah. You run a screw through things that didn't need to be screwed. Yeah. That ain't going nowhere. We're gonna have to re-drill some holes here for this mount over here. <laughs> I don't know what kind of welder they use, but it wasn't pretty. Ugh, nice. <laughs> looks like you put them bike taters on there. Uh, now, are those loaded? That looks I like they had them bacon bits on Hey, I got bacon bits and all. We're gonna straighten this out and re-drill a hole in it. Cause it's not long enough to mount the way I wanna mount it. What did they use? Good job. He channeled that one down, didn't he? I guess we need a, a top radiator hose clamp. So why don't, why don't y'all go get that? Get Servant's heart right there. At least somebody's got one. Are we gonna like reaping the field with this thing or what? I don't know. I, I really don't think she legal enough to drive out on the road, really. No title, race car, open manifolds. Driveway passes only. We may have to make some driveway passes. I don't know what the slots are for. Unless they had a different size radiator and it fit in the slots. Nope. Can you get it off there? No. All right, Wawa got it. Look, it's been out in the sun so much, one side's faded. That's how long it sat out with a hood off of it, I guess. So what's she supposed to do that when she gets it off there? Uh, not, mm, oh! not that. <laughs> not, I know, it's that close. That is not <laughs> what you do. Don't do what Wawa does, okay? Oh my gosh. Golly, she's a train wreck. <laughs> hey, Bubba, I don't see this one seal. Ooh, look at that. Mom caught it. I ruined the engine doing that one time. There she now, was. If you stack them, I've done that before, not knowing. It'll blow out oil everywhere and you won't, you'll won't. you ruin your engine. I've done it. First engine I ever built, that's how I ruined it. Okay, just toast me over here. <laughs> Look at you! Look how dirty his mouth is. Oh, where have you been? He's been killing he's been digging doing. up a, a hole. Killing. Oh my gosh. He keeps us safe, guys.
Spread them. Come on. How tight? Remember, well, you want it where we can never get it off of you. Okay. You don't want it falling off going down the road. Got it. it looks like it's an aluminum can they rolled out. It's so thin. Perfect. We got about two and a half quarts in one jug, and we got about two and a half quarts of another brand. We're going to give it the old mix up. Now we'll have a switch for our fan and our pump and our ignition all up here. We got like red, white, and blue here. <laughs> On it's accident. Pa pure patriotic right here. Yes. So this one is the fan now, and that one is the fuel pump. There, no more confusion. See, it doubles as a paint remover. Why are you removing paint? We gotta have good ground, bro. Touche. Oh, man. I figured we might should check our brake fluid, and it looks like that's a good idea. That's pretty dirty, and that's gone, so it has no rear brakes currently. I wonder why it leaked out all the back brake fluid. We'll probably find out, won't we? Look how brown that is. Golly, that's terrible looking. So that is our ground. Instead of switching the positive side and having a positive wire run all the way through the car, I went positive side straight to the battery off the fan after, on the starter solenoid, ground side to the switch, and then grounded it to the body of the car. It would be better if it ran through a relay. If I was fixing something up I was gonna drive every day, I'd definitely switch it off a relay. A fuse would also be good. Let's see if I wired it all in right. Ooh, it's kicking on when I do that? Might have installed the taller switch upside down. <laughs> Let's try this again. Yeah. <laughs> I had the taller switch in upside down. Okay, let me flip that around real quick. Well, this is a first for us. We have water down here, so we don't have to carry it in buckets anymore. Hey, we don't even know if it leaks, do we? I was gonna say, it's gonna be bad. They just start squirting out everywhere. Yeah. Woo! Oh, ground Which stiff stick you checking? Yeah, exactly. Both of them? Oh, that one's just gonna stay out, I guess. Well, it's always good to get a second opinion, you know? This one says it's full. I'm gonna go with that one. Try the fan switch. All right, we got that. Turn it off. Your fuel pump still works? Yeah. Okay, turn that off. Okay, well, I guess we're ready to crank it, get the air out of the cooling system, see where our oil pressure is, check our transmission fluid level, and see if it's charging too, right? Yeah. Try to start it. If it starts and runs, and turn the fuel pump on after that. That's got too much time in, doesn't it? It must be putting some off the back in advance or something because my time lot said it had 30 degrees, but it should crank easier than that. All right, try it again, Ralph. transmission fluid anytime you have a transmission do that what it did right there you put it in gear it won't take off you rev it a little bit it kind of jumps and then it goes back like it's in neutral it's usually long well so far so good i'm really shocked surprised. shocked <laughs> Right. Well, the build quality on this vehicle was not the best I've ever seen. I'll, I'll just leave it at that. It's surprising me so far. Transmission seems to work. Engine seems to be working good. If it's charging, uh, I'll be super amazed. We're going to crank it up again. I'm going to recheck the timing with a light that does not have advanced built in, so it'll tell me exactly what the timing is. Because apparently I've got it too high. All right, crank it.
like 20 something degrees base timing, which is too high. So I knocked it down to about 10 degrees base timing. Hopefully it'll start better there. It's showing good on dipstick now on uh, the amount of transmission fluid. See if she'll go under her own power. Are we gonna put the hood back on her? Yeah, we'll put the hood on it, sure. That covers up some of the ugly at least. Yeah, it helps. It, it does, does look help. better. It looks it a little better. It does look a little better. It's got less than 10. Leave that off air. We might need to give her a little. This one got less than 10 too. We're ready for drag racing then, huh? Wait a minute. What? Wait a minute. What are you doing? I'm just washing these off with some grass on them. Don't you even. It's got some grass. Uh, That's oh yeah, all. Sure grass. We know what's about to go on, don't we? We know what's going on. Oh. My poor concrete floor. You ready, Wall? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> just in case. Never know. All right, y'all ready? Yep. Let's see how she does.
We survived. She's a race car driver. Oh my gosh, this thing is so rowdy. She's fun. I would think it probably needs a bigger fuel pump than that old oh, little yeah. one we got there. Oh, Man, thank you, Dave. way, way over delivered. Like, I mean, my expectations were here. That car is like here. It feels pretty quick. It's really jumpy. Transmission's doing good. I was in high gear during that burnout down there. It's awesome. She's a ripper. <laughs> Certified ripper, man. This may be one of my favorites now. It's yeah. possible it could be one of my favorites. Now. It is very cool. At least now we have something we can take down the drag strip until we get the Fairmont done. Maybe this thing can go to Ford Fest for the burnout competition. Yeet, you know? oh. Grand champion. You may be looking at the next grand champion for Ford Fest right here. It's possible. It, it is possible. Probable, actually. Yes. I finished my painting. All right, it's let's my see it. second painting. Oh. Oh, look at that. Look at Patrick. Very nice. I even did the wheel background. So, so you do realize we've been working on a car, right? Yeah. Okay. Is the squeezy corner filled with smoke now? No, it didn't really get up there. Oh, I, I couldn't really see it up, up there. there. Good. Good. Look how mean this thing looks sitting there. <laughs> did our radiator fall over? Was it already that crooked? Hmm. You installed her crooked. Oh, man. I didn't get my level up. Look at that. Solid. <laughs> it's hot filled, though. Wow. Man. Do we have a temperature gauge on this jewel? No. no. No, no we negative. Don't. We have no. We have we no. Do not. not at all. Is that a problem? Well, I know there's no. one thing that we got to do. What? what we do? Mom's got to drive it. You what do you think? About to let this. I don't think eat. we need to ride with her. You know, no. just let her go. Yeah, yeah, let's let her do her own thing. Yeah. Mama, we're good. We're good. We'll watch. This is not good. This is not good. She has a heavy foot, don't she, Ralphie? Yeah. You Keep her in line. Hey, look. You got. You got to hit the door knob. Remember, if you don't hit it. Yeah, there you go. It'll shut now. See? Just got to give it that tap. That's All right, Ralphie's ready, ready back here. I can't even hardly reach the pedal. Yeah, the seat is pretty far back. It's not bolted in. Pedals are real close together. Watch them size 14s now. I ain't got no size 14s. Guys, on me. guys, I'm sorry. She don't wear a 14. It's a 13. Oh, my gosh. All right. Okay. Very self-explanatory. What'd you say? Ignition on. Start it. And then put your fan on. <laughs> oh my god. Probably bad out of fuel. That's the only gas we got in the whole place. We have to get some more. We need a bigger fuel pump for what I got planned for yeah, this we thing. Need a big holly pump or something. Yes, oh. that was great. The best part was when you hit the starter button at the end. <laughs> I heard. Did you, oh did yeah, I heard it? it. I heard it. <laughs> I didn't hear it in here. I was hoping you didn't know. <laughs> That good, was good job. so much fun. It's funny how much more fun it is to you when you're driving. I have to be driving. I can't drive She with won't nobody. even let me do that with her in the car. I can't drive with nobody. It's oh. great when I'm driving. Okay. <laughs> Did you ever see that? Oh, we may have needed to pay attention to the stickers. Yeah. It may have aftermarket pistons in, huh? Yeah. Wow. Was it spinning both? Did it leave yes. two marks? Yes, yeah. there's two marks. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's got palsy, son. It may have a spool or something, you know. And did you check your rear end? Oh my gosh, I didn't check my rear Dad, end, guys. How dare, how dare you? How dare you? What is wrong with me? You We're gonna have to check our rear end. Yeah, he, he's getting too excited. He's skipping. Well, let's put this pony back in her stable before Mom blows her up, Ralph. She's crazy. We still got 50 pounds of oil pressure. That's good. I 
it off. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I thought something was wrong. <laughs> you terrible me. That's great. That's great. I, that was actually <laughs> I didn't tell you that. It's terrible. Hey, there ain't nothing wrong with this jewel right here. I don't know what to say. Maybe the best car I've ever bought, you know, for the money. Out of, out of your sale. Two thousand bucks. I could sell this thing right now for twenty grand. <laughs> <laughs> to who? Oh. To who? <laughs> I'm just so impressed with this car. It was surprising. Yes, it was. I absolutely love small cars, big engines. I think we have to take this thing to the drag strip at some point now that it's running that good. Maybe put some new slick casings on the back of it, you know, take it to the racetrack. I love seeing it sitting next to the Gremlin here. I really love these little tiny cars. It may be my new favorite. Possible. Wow. I agree with her. I'm gonna pour one out for the whole meat. Well, in the trash you. can. In the trash can. Oh, look at you. You're fancy now. You're too fancy. I'm not fancy. I just don't want to clean it up. Scooter is looking for it. I know. He's ready. We're gonna try our best to get the Gremlin done for our upcoming burnout event. That would be awesome. Um, I'm sorry. What are you? Take <laughs> a knee. Take <laughs> a knee. <laughs> Show some respect, okay? Negative. Here, give me that. Hey, how cool would it be to put the nitrous kit off the Malibu on no. this? What are you doing? He can't close his lips around it, evidently. What is wrong with you? That's offensive. She like throws it <laughs> to the back of my mouth. Too. I wish we had some digital scales here where we could weigh this thing. <laughs> because I'd love to know what it actually weighs. It's got to be like 60% on the nose. It's literally front mounted engine like in front of the car mounted. Yeah, front, front, front yeah. mounted. It needs to be moved back about a foot. We may have to do that at some point, go through it, but not right now. They don't have much in the back. There's no seats or nothing. There's no weight back there, yeah. Right. Hey, it'll rip a donut in, the, hey. in a heartbeat, won't it? No kidding. Look at her. Look at that. <laughs> I can't believe you turned your nose up with that. She won't even chew. Look at her. Can you believe that? Yeah, what in the world? it freaks me out. I can't. It it's good stuff, out. ain't it, Squeeze? It's real good off the grill, isn't it? Here, here, here's what she call Oh, she chickened out. She can't do it. I can't believe you did it to a camera. What a food snob. Can you believe that? She didn't have no problem eating that steak on a truck, did she? It freaks me out. I can't do it. I can't they do it. They don't know something good when it's staring right in the face. Oh. You know what it would probably cost to build this car from the ground up to this point? It's been rear end swap, engine transmission swap. Now, even though they didn't do a great job, it actually works. I mean, it's right. a working car. Yeah. And, it's a and the body, I mean, that's not You nothing. would probably spend three times this getting it together, I would bet, probably. what we spent on this thing. You could definitely make money on it if you wanted to sell it. Not that we want to sell it. At all. You can expect future videos of this car. We're gonna do something with it, whether it's drag racing, burnouts, moving the engine back, fixing the front end. I would love to have a grill and bumper on the front. It would look so cool. When I see a car like this, you, you know what I say? Would you just look at it? Look at that, that's nice and shiny. As of right now, we have less than three weeks before our first burnout event coming up. And we don't have the engine here. We don't have the engine here for that car. So mm -hmm. we are really under the gun. We also have parts that are on back order. So oh. even if we had the engine, we're still limited on a couple things. So it's gonna take a miracle to get that car done. And we may just be praying for a miracle, you know? They're probably wondering what engine's going in that over there. Mm -hmm. They'll have to tune back in to find out. Woo. But you can buy our awesome merchandise at thesleeperdude.com. You uh, it out. Yeah, we're handling all our own merchandise now. There's a lot of times that we're sold out. We may not have any right now, but you may be able to go in there and find something at thesleeperdude.com. We try to announce when we have new merchandise coming out. Shirts start at 20 bucks. Stickers are 4 dollars with free shipping. And you can check us out on our second channel app. Sleeperdude 2. You can check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Sleeperdude88. Yeah. Big thank you to all our sponsors. We really appreciate Holly's help. That was the carburetor that came off the Malibu. Holly helped us out with that, so go check out holly.com. All their cool products, link in the description below as well on that. Maybe you need to not drive by the yard sales, you know? Every now and then, you find something good. Like this right here. You never know when you're gonna find that old action figure you've been looking for, you know? <laughs> yeah. Or maybe Papa's old stamp collection. Or a V8 swap Pinto. It's just amazing that it was the price it was because the other car that was there it was, really was like overpriced. way yeah, overpriced way in my opinion. Way. No engine, no transmission, beat up car, way overpriced. Now let's go see Rocky and the other animals. Here you go, here you go, here you go. Oh, hey, I'm sorry, Rocky Jr. You want the juice? Want that good juice? You know, I don't know that we could have got done without them and Mabel. You know? We're good helpers. We're good I'm good sorry, helpers. Granny. I'm so sorry. There was just one left today. Mom was hungry, ate half the box. That's untrue. Call her in, Ralph. Go for it. Wade! There she is. Oh, she's so calm today. She must have been sleeping. 
That's a good girl. Guys, we really appreciate everybody that watches our channel. We wouldn't be able to do what we do without you guys. Thank you to all the members. Thank you for everybody that does super thanks. Everybody that buys our merchandise. It all makes this possible. We're just very blessed to have all you guys watching our channel. And remember, Jesus saves. And George Nelson withdraws. Exactly. Amen. Woo! Let's clean up the mess. Welcome.